This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, what is the length of the missing side? As you can see, we have a right triangle that has legs of five and nine, and the missing side is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. How do I know it's the hypotenuse? Well, the hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle. And in order to find the missing side length in a right triangle, you're always gonna use Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of the right triangle and c is the hypotenuse. So I know this is gonna be c, and I can let a be five and b be nine. Of course, on the actual ASVAB and PICAT, you won't have a reference sheet or a calculator. So in addition to knowing these basic formulas, you also have to be able to perform these calculations by hand. Uh, again, let's go ahead and plug these values in and start solving. This becomes five squared plus nine squared equals C squared. Five squared is five times five, which is 25. Nine squared is nine times nine, which is 81 equals C squared. Uh, let's go ahead and add these together off to the side. We have 81 plus 25, five plus one is six. Eight plus two is gonna be 10. So this becomes 106 equals C squared. Now we wanna know C, not C squared. So to get rid of that square, I'm gonna take the square root of both sides of the equation. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving me with C on this side equals the square root of 106. Now, in this case, uh, you wanna look at 106 and see if we can reduce this. And as it happens, we can't. 106 only has two factors, notably 53 and two, none of which are perfect squares. So in other words, C in this case is gonna be the square root of 106. So the answer to this one is D, of course.